Hello and welcome, this is Eagle Eye 621 and today we're back in my item duping world with an insanely fast item duper for a gravity block. Now, I've done a couple of these before and there'll be some links in the eye cards as well as in the description to my carpet duper, the rail duper, and some other gravity block dupers that deal with sand and gravel, anvils and dragon eggs powdered concrete and the like but this one here is just on a whole nother level in terms of speed this one is actually duping at a rate of 222,500 per hour that is just about a stack per second so you're talking about doing 28 stacks in 29 seconds that's the actual rate and what we're using here is actually some scaffolding because that burns two items you're actually able to provide enough fuel and this is with no redstone to burn 445,000 items per hour that's enough to fully power over 1235 furnaces or more than 19 stacks of furnaces and if you make this part of your furnace XP farm that's 445,000 XP per hour 125 per second you can go from 0 to 30 in less than 12 seconds from 27 to 30 in less than 2.5 seconds and in that hour you'd go from 0 to over 332 just in that one hour of course you're more likely to crash your game if you're using this full-time for the full hour so let me show you how to do this real quick but before I do that let me just ask you if you can take a moment to hit that subscribe button most of you are still not subscribed and it really does help out the channel now in order to do this we are going to need to go to the end let's grab some scaffolding and let's head out to the end now if you have not seen one of these dupers before the way this works is this is the end portal normally you'd come here and there'd be some lava underneath We've filled in that lava and we've added fence posts underneath all of those blocks right there. So they're directly under the portal blocks. You only actually need them under the three in a row from where you're duplicating. But you can just fill the whole thing in. And then you're going to want to go up six blocks so that you're blessing right here. So you can see we have one, two, three. This is four and this is five. So we're placing it, as I said on that sixth block then you're going to take your scaffolding and you can see that we are placing this so that it goes over and that the very next one will fall down so that's what you want and this right here is going to be directly into the first portal so just like that and you can see that it's converting from a block into or a falling entity into an item and both of those are going through the portal which is how you get your duplication now I showed you before with scaffolding that you can get three in a row like this and I said at the time it was an impressive speed at about 31,000 per hour so we're almost 10 xing that not quite but close enough and the way that this part works is you're going to want to get some blocks of space directly above this last one so you can see here that we have this air block this is two three four five and I left an extra one here you don't need it but you might as well make that sixth and then the way the duplication itself works and let me add some more scaffolding here and switch over into survival mode so you can see exactly how fast this is that's not survival mode that survival mode is you're going to hold the shift button and you're going to point out into this last block just like this and if you have an auto clicker you're going to hold the auto clicker and watch the way the screen looks and look how fast those items are coming out of the inventory it's absolutely insane amounts of speed 
don't know if YouTube will even pick up on that that fast. Now, if you don't have an auto clicker, there is a simple workaround. If I can get back into creative mode. But before I show you that, I can just show you that we do have some of these blocks that are coming up. That's why we give ourselves some of that extra room. You can remove them when you are done with this. You just want to make sure that none of the blocks ended up getting placed under and that's still clear. So let's fill this back in and let's get rid of everything that's not scaffolding and give ourselves some more scaffolding. And the way you do this if you don't have an auto clicker is by changing your settings. So you go into your options, your controls, and you look for this right button, which is your use item or place block. You can change that to any letter you want that's not already used. So we can make that a P, which of course, as you know, stands for subscribe to Eagle Eye. Again, sorry, not sorry. And now you are still going to do the same idea where you're going to hold the shift key. You're going to look at this block. You can even look at one of the other ones. It doesn't matter, but you want to look forward, hold the shift, and now hold the P button. And you can see how fast that looks on the screen if YouTube will pick that up. Let's go into survival mode so you can see how fast that looks just like that. It's not quite as fast as the auto key or the auto click key method. But this is a nice workaround. And this is probably about two thirds to 75% of the speed of the auto clicker. So you can see from that example. Now I will show you that we are actually duplicating some blocks. And to do that, let's jump through. And let me also give you a warning that you are duplicating a tremendous number of items. So do be careful to not crash your world if you're doing this by yourself and there's nobody here to collect them. So let's go around and let me change my controls back, which is why it won't let me teleport right now. There we go. And let's get back here. And then let's choose to do this with three stacks to make it nice and fast. Let's get rid of everything else and collect those. And then we're going to go back into survival mode because counting with Eagle Eye, I can't count that fast. And let's blast through. And it won't be perfect because as you can see around me, some of them did get placed on this side, but you will see, so jump back into creative mode. Again, nothing in the inventory. We cleaned out the end the last time through. You'll see that we do have our original three stacks and then we have not quite three more. We have two more and then some. This counts as one of them. And you'll see when we go back that the other scaffolding just never made it through because they are up here all the way up to our little blocker and then also all the way through here and you can keep on going around and doing your cycles again just be sure not to crash your game if you look back at some of my older videos i show you a technique about putting a chest here and then breaking that chest in order to be able to just blitz through it as fast as possible and you just make all of the scaffolding or all of the fuel that you can possibly need or want and all of this with absolutely no redstone of any kind just a couple of fences and a few seconds of your time duplicating all of these items until you are done and you go back to where you came from back to your main base to fuel up all of your fueling needs and whatever else you want to do with that. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like. If you found it interesting, maybe even tell one of your friends. And for more videos like this, as I mentioned, do be sure to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.